Oh, that's the base of the temple room. Yeah. We're about to start right now. Chai. Okay. Krishna, Jai Shishi Guru Gauranga Gandharvika Giridhari Shishi Radha Vinod Bihari Juki Jai Niti Lila Pavishto Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sata Shishi Man Shila Bhakti Vrantra Narayan Goswami Maharaj Shila Guru Deva Ki Jai Niti Lila Pavishto Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sata Shishi Man Shila Bhakti Vrantra Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Niti Lila Pavishto Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sata Shishi Man Shila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj Param Guru Deva Ki Jai Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pada Stotra Sata Shishi Man Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada Ki Jai Rupa Nuga Gaurya Guru Varga Ki Jai Sadhu Swami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Pancha Tattva Ju Ki Jai Navadvip Maya Pur Dhaam Ki Jai Vrindavan Dhaam Ki Jai Shetra Mandha Jagnat Puri Dhaam Ki Jai Shri Keshava Vrata Ki Jai Shri Chandan Yatra Ki Jai Ananta Kuti Vaishna Vrindi Ki Jai Samagata Bhakta Vrindi Ki Jai Nitai Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bo Vandeham Shri Guru Shri
So we're all gathering together now to do kirtan and harikata because this is why we're actually here. We're not just here to build buildings, but we're here to fill those buildings with kirtan and harikata. So we are. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> so if you are live or on Zoom, we're going to sing Shri Guru Charana Padma. And if you have the new songbook, it is on page. 28. Vindavan do you want to play Murdanga?
Um, and all the time it was mute. So. <laughs> all right, our apologies. Uh, so we're gonna start, continue with bhajans. Vrindavan Prabhu is gonna sing.
So Hare Krishna, welcome you all to our satsang and we're here from Bhaktabandha Dham. So we're live streaming here. So thank you for joining us and joining the sweet devotees of Bhaktabandha Dham. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu
Kesin girerim ben buradan. Kalanidi Prabhu. Jeho.
beautiful um, altar. We have Shala Gramji who is protecting us. We've been worshipping for Keshavrat Seva Kunj. Oh, I do apologize. And we have Shila Gurudev and Shila Prabhupada. And, and the, we have Nishringadev here from Syracuse Mantra House visiting us, protecting us. All the devotees trickling in, coming in after a hard day of seva. Hare Krishna. It might not be as stable. So. That's right. We are becoming a yeah murti decoration place. We are painting murtis, fixing murtis, making murtis. <laughs> Many are manifesting. So, Prabhu, we continue. Kirtan. Yeah, Kirtan, and then. you want to sing Mahamantra? Time. I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got I was supposed to see another actually DV painting job. Oh, really? Yeah. Wonderful. So we're gonna do continue with Kirtan. Yes. No, please, we do Kirtan and then we will do Kirtan. Excuse us for the internet.
Now we will speak a little bit. Hi, Kita. Okay, we're okay with battery for now. Okay. And Didi will speak some Harikata for us. Okay. I hope the signal is working good and it's not cutting out. Om Magyana Timarandasya. Gyanin Shalakaya Chakshurin Militam Yena Tasme Shi Gurve Namaha Gurve Gore Chandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavaktaya Namo Namaha Bhaktya Vihinaya Parada Lakshay Shripta Shakama Titaranga Madhi Kripa Iti vigya yaradhe tannay maam charanantike Ajanu lambita bujo kanakavadato sankirtane kapitaro kamalaya takshu Vishwam bharo dvijavaro yuga dharma palo Vande jagita priyakaro karunavataro Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakti Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai. First of all, I'd like to offer my hundreds and thousands of heartfelt dandavat pranams to the lotus feet of our Guru Bad Padma. Bhakta Bandam Shilu Gurudev Nitti Lila Pavishta Shishimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And the same unto my grandfather Gurus Nitti Lila Pavishta Om Vishnu Pada Stota Rasata Shishimad Shilu Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unto Nitti Lila Pavishta Om Vishnu Pada Stota Rasata Shishimad Shilu Bhakti Pragyan Keshu Goswami Maharaj. The same unto the entire Rupanuga Gauri Guru Varga. To all the assembled devotees here, Jai. to all Vaishnavas past, present, and future, Jai. all the Brija Vasis, Navadvip Vasis, Dham Vasis, Jagannath Puri Vasis, my heartfelt pranams to you, begging for the, your mercy. Those on Facebook and Zoom too. <laughs> <laughs> and all pranams to all of you watching as well. So today is a special day. <laughs> it is the beginning of, it's the last day of Keshavrat, actually. And this is the beginning of Chandan Yatra. Yesterday was Akshay Tritya, the beginning of Satya Yug, the beginning of the universe, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And when Ganga Devi appears also yeah. to this world, so many beautiful things. So I wanted to share a little bit about the significance of Keshavrat, since we did a whole, um, almost a month of bathing Shalagram every day and watering Tulsi every day and wanting to speak a little bit about the significance of this pastime in relation to going into Chandan Yatra. So, during this time in India, it's actually quite hot. It's a summer season and it's very hot. But what is this heat that's actually from? It could be the weather, but really it is this separation mood. When it gets very hot, the gopis and Krishna cannot meet so much. It is more difficult. So there's this burning separation that Krishna has. And in order to cool him, the gopis applied chandan to his body. We have seen this even in Dwarka. When Krishna was very far away from the gopis, he had a very bad headache. And he was in so much distress. And he said, the only remedy for me is if I get the foot dust of one of my devotees. Oh Naradji, please, find me one of my devotees and bring me their foot dust. My head is hurting so much. But really, this is the pain of separation he is feeling. And going to the queens of Dwarka, they said, no, how can we give our Prabhu our foot dust? We will go to hell for this, so we will not, we cannot do such a thing, no. Then he goes to many other associates. He even goes to Brajadham. But who actually gives very willingly the gopis? Not only did they give willingly, they said, how much? And scraping their feet as much as they can. We will give, go to hell millions of lifetimes, no problem, to even leave a moment of suffering from our Prabhu, our Krishna, our beloved. Of course, no problem. 
So this is one of the pastimes of Chandan. Chandan actually is, it's sandalwood. We, we paste it. In India, they paste it for hours and hours and put all over Krishna, especially on Chandan Yatra day. But for the next 21 days, putting on Chandan on Krishna. But this Chandan is actually the foot dust of the gopis. We put Tilak. This is called Gopi Chandan. It comes from the feet dust of the gopis. They played in the Yamuna River and Yamuna Devi took this dust, bringing it to the Malaya Hills in Mysore, where it was deposited and from there the sandalwood trees grow. So this very dear um, plant of Krishna tree, which has the, the potency of the foot dust of the gopis. So we wear it on our head as gopi chandan and Krishna wants to smear it all over her, his whole body to cool his fire of separation. So this is one of the significances of chandan yatra. <laughs> and um, keshavrat. There's something I was going to say about keshavrat. So much to say. We've been reading every day. Oh yes, that's what I will say. We've been reading every day from this beautiful book, Holy Dust of Braj, from Bhaktivedanta Publish Publications. Beautiful book on the significance of Keshavra and Chandan Yatra. One quick story and then I'll end. Is the story of Kaliya Lila. So Kaliya comes to take shelter of Vrindavan Dham because Garuda is cursed by a Rishi, Sobhari Rishi, that he can't enter Vrindavan. And eagles and snakes are enemies. And there's a whole long story of why they're enemies. It comes back to their family lineages. We read this, it's in the Puranas. But anyhow, so Kaliya takes shelter of Yamuna in Braj and poisons all the waters because he knows Garuda won't come and interfere there because he's cursed to not enter. And all the waters are getting poisoned and we know that Krishna came to subdue Kaliya and he dances on his hoods. But after this Kaliya Leela, well, first of all, the, the gopis see this and they said, oh, Krishna gets to dance with Kaliya, who is a demon, who is so envious. How come we don't get to dance with him? This was the beginning, the first time the gopis see Krishna dancing in his full majesty. How beautiful. So at that end of the day, all the gopis and all the Prajabhasis stayed the night at the bank of the Yamuna. And they all spent time there. And at that time, a forest fire happened. And that's when Krishna swallowed, but one of the forest fires that happens and he swallows the fire. The next day there's a big assembly with Nanda Baba and all the men. And they say, look, Krishna has many bites from the snake. And he has many, you know, so much poison on him. We must, how do we purify him and protect him? So it's a long story, but they get information from the rishis who pray to Brahma and they talk to Yogamaya also, Yogamaya Purnamasi. And they said for 21 days, cover his body with chandan and mix it also with some cow dung and urine and some kumkum and gurochana. Make this mixture and purify him every day and then do abhishek of milk, yogurt, ghee. And so that is another beginning story of how chandan yatra happened. So at the end of chandan yatra, what will happen? Snan yatra. So Jagannathji will be bathed for many hours and he will get sick. But really he is not sick. <laughs> then he will be taken on Rathyatra and really that is the gopis bringing him back to Braj to fully relieve his separation. The Chandan is there to pacify him. But eventually he will come for the four months of Chaturmasya to Vrindavan. And normally bhaktas and demigods and everyone understands that God is sleeping in the four months of Chaturmasya. But actually, he is having a big Mahotsav in Braj. So with that mood, we're in this festive spirit. And we hope that we are not looking at God sleeping. We want to have a relationship with him. And so meditating on this Chandan. This Chandan is very powerful. People take the Chandan Prasad. They eat it. But they spread it on their body. It is very cooling to the burning lust, anger, greed, madness. All the things within our heart, this Chandan cools that. So praying that we can cool our hearts and be sweet and soft like the Vrajabhasis under their guidance, under our Guru Varga, we can also serve in such ways. So we are trying in our own little way with Chandan. Even if you have Adiris at home, offering a little Tilak, even if you don't have sandalwood during the next 21 days is very, very auspicious, very, very helpful. So thank you. <laughs> Panchakalpatrubhishya kripa sinivivacha patita nam pavanam yo vaishnavivyanam.
ಅಜ್ಞಾನತ್ಮಂದಸ್ಯಾಂಜನಾಸಲಕೈಯ ಚಕ್ಷುಮಿಲಿತ First of all, I offer my unlimited heart-like obeisances into the lotus feet of my Guru Pada Padma, Nichi Lila Vishnu Om Vishwad, Asuta Tata Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami. Secondly, I offer my pranams unlimited times to the lotus feet of our founder, you might say, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Srila Padma. Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada, Swami Maharaj. Jai. I say that he's our founder because I, I always think we were, I would not be right here if it wasn't for him. Of course. All of us. That's all of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we are very fortunate um, celebrating so many auspicious days. Uh, this Akshay Tritya, this beginning of our universe, even Treta Yuga started, uh, I was listening from oh. Proji. Oh, wow. Treta or Satya? Yeah, Treta and Satya Yuga both started. Oh, wow. And Barley was created on Akshay Tritya. Mm. Oh, lots of good things like this. <laughs> Sustenance, the nurturing force to give success. So many things are started on this day, and we we're very fortunate to lay our foundation within this timing and in this way we will we know because we are in anugatya we are in guidance that everything that we do will be successful because it is the power of guru and vaishnava we are insignificant living entities but by our connection and our surrender unto the lotus feet of sri vaishnavas then we get power So our line of bhajan is extremely high. So many times I'm thinking, oh, all these things of Radha, Madhav, and Seva Kunj. And then I think, oh, I, this is too much to talk about, actually. So I'm regressing I'm <laughs> today and I, I bite my tongue. But we should know, Radha, Madhav's intimate pastimes is our heart's desire. And that's where we want to be. Of course, we can't rush there. We can't jump there. But that is where our mind should want to always be. Also today, now in Jagannath Puri, they start this Chandran Yatra and this beautiful procession down Grand Road from Jagannath Mandir to oh, yeah. uh, so, so the Chandra Sarovra. And they make these big, beautiful boats. Out of, they decorate them like swans. And they bring the Lord down. All the different Lords that are residing in they Jagannath have, like, Temple. But Radha Madhav. Oh, Very beautiful. And some say, this is the heart of Jagannath Temple. These beautiful deities. Mm -hmm. And they come. And they're in this swing. It's not a swing. It's a, it's a Roth. But the Roth is put together by wire. So the whole thing shakes and moves intoxicatingly. So there is symbol, symbolic of the, the love the Radha and Madhav have together that just spins them out of control. This Prem Varivar, it's intoxicating. So it's very beautiful. They take them down there and day, these 21 days and they, they take them on a boat ride, cool them down, all the pandits, everyone's, it's a very happy celebration. And at the end of this Yatra, we have our first vision of the Lord this, of the year. Because for those that can't go into Jagannath Temple, the Lord comes out to see us. So he comes out on this little plateau and they do Snan Yatra. And it's our first Good. Darshan. Yeah, <laughs> so sweet. So in this way, we are meditating on the separation from Guru and Vaishnavas, eventually learning the separation from the divine. But ultimately, Our meditation wants to be fixed on the union. So this is somewhat ways down. And in the meantime, we are learning by Vaishnavas. They come in, they take our hearts, they make us dependent upon them with their love. And then they disappear. And this is the first taste for a jiva to understand separation. We have this transcendental 
connection and then it disappears. And then we have a chance to meet with Sri Guru in separation. Every morning, every afternoon, all through the day, chanting our onyx, chanting Hare Krishna, doing Guru Seva. And in this way, we meet in separation. And this is the ultimate goal. We see Krishna even here in Seva Kunj. He's praying to Srimati Radhika. He's seen how powerful her separation is that she is even meeting with him while he's watching. She's having separation and union while Krishna's watching. And this pleases Krishna so much. So here in our sadhak form, we're trying, we're trying, because we can't do. I've heard Gurudev say many times, you can't do, but try anyways. So here we are engaged in Guru Seva, trying our level best to remember so deeply the lotus feet of our Srila Guru Dev that he appears within our heart. And we can do this with all our bhajans, with Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We can read Upadeshamrita and remember Sri Rupa Goswami and they can appear within our heart by our desire. So this is all we need to make our life successful is transcendental greed. I'm just going to say, we, I feel so fortunate. Like we're getting so much opportunity to do service. Yes. This is like our life force to help us stay connected. Can you sing a bhajan? Sure. Harinam Tuva? Harinam Tuva, sure. Yes. Have the book, page one eighty, Harry Nam Tuba. Thank you, one eighty. Okay, one eight zero. One eight zero. I love this song. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not
Agyanatimarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur un militam yena tasma chi gurave namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nichananda Shri Advaita Gadhadarha Shivasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So first of all I offer my Koti Koti Dandavat Pranams to my beloved Guru this divine grace, Nitya Lila Pravishta, Vishnu Pad, Asto Tarasata Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, Sri Lagurdev, and Koti Koti Dandavat Pranams to my spiritual grandfather, His Divine Grace, Nitya Lila Pravishta, Vishnu Pad, Asto Tarasata Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Sri Prabhupada, to the entire Rupandu Guru Varga. Headed by Sri Rupa Goswami Pad, to the Lord of Sri Sri Radha, Govinda Radha, Madan Mohan Radha, Gopinath, Shinitai Garanda. To all Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, here at Bhakta Bandhav Dham, mm. also on Zoom, also on Facebook, Zoom. <laughs> back to Zoom, <laughs> <laughs> my Dhanavat Pranams to all of you. So I want to say before, I'm very happy to be joining you devotees here at Bhakta Bandhav Dham. The mood is very sweet, very sweet mood. And the mood is appropriate to the title, Bhakta Bandhav, friend of the devotees. Mm. There's this sweet friendship, this sweet loving mood that all of us who work on the new temple room that we're building there, trying to renovate. All of us experienced that mood today, everyone. Even Malni Didi, you came in at the end, <laughs> lifting the cement sack. <laughs> Equally like us, it's like, okay. <laughs> yes, very sweet mood today. Mm, it was so much a joy felt just creating, building, constructing that temple room. And it was very inspiring to see all the devotees, even little Harapri, she came in as well, turning the spit. And we had Gopi Kanta Prabhu, who was in his seventies. And I was like looking at him working very, you know, strong. Radha Raman Prabhu, Sukadev Prabhu, Krishna Mahan Prabhu, Jagdeep Prabhu, Vrindavan Chandra Prabhu, to and fro getting this, this cement and everything. And, uh, it's very beautiful to be part of it. I feel very honored to be part of this. You know, um, Kalanidi Prabhu, Jai Shididi, Nar Narayani came. Jai. Yes, little Narayani came as well. And everyone came, you know, to be part of this, to be part of Bhakta Bandha. And as Malini Didi was saying, we, we're not just, we don't just build temples, <laughs> but, you know, I've heard this in Jagannath Puri. When we was going to build the temple in Guyana, and uh, the devotees then was asking, "What makes a temple?" Does or, or the question was rather, "Does devotees make a temple, or does a temple make a devotee?" Mm, good question. Right. <laughs> or, let me rephrase that: Does a temple make the devotee, or the devotee makes a temple? Mm. So Shri Gurudev used to say. A temple is just brick and stone yeah. if devotees are not there. It is the devotees that make a temple. We don't need nothing big and elaborate. All we need is love and affection. This is Gurdjieff words. Love and affection, nothing more. And I'm very happy to be part of this. because, And I'm very proud of all of you devotees, my God brothers, God sisters. Um, and to see this mood that Gurudev wants us to have, mm. love and affection. Mm. We can't claim to love Gurudev, we can't claim to love Krishna, 
if we don't love the devotees. Mm. Yes. First, love comes from loving the devotees. Mm -hmm. That being said, so I just wanted to share my heart with you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We're so happy you're here. Yeah. Yeah. This place without the devotees, like you said, it's not a temple. It's barren. It's yes. barren. So when you all come, this is mm -hmm. the success of our Akshay Triti, everything. The foundation is laid to only to have more devotees come. That is the only purpose. Yeah. To yes. serve and to have But the mood them. must be there as well. Too. 100%. Mm. Mood must be there. If the mood is not correct, then who will want to come? Exactly. Hmm? So if the, the mood of the devotees of Bhakta Banda wasn't loving and sweet, then no one would want to come. Mm -hmm. I come because the mood is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Krishna is attracted to sweetness. He's a lord of sweetness after all. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. So earlier, I was thinking about this. Actually, a, a few days I was thinking about this. There are three avatars. Krishna is known as Avatari. Not true. Sure? <laughs> Who's the next one? Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. Also an Avatari. And who's the third one? Nam. <sighs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> yes. Now what is the proof? The song. <laughs> the song. <laughs> the song. <laughs> What is the evidence? Nam nam akari. Yes. Bahudani jasarvasha. Yes, that as well too. But Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur also in this bhajan explicitly said it too. If we go into the fourth verse, the last line, Matsyari Gani Avatari. So Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur himself saying it. You know, as devotees, as Vaishnavas, whenever we make a statement, there must be proof. There must be evidence. So this Nam is also Avatari. We have access. We do not have direct access to Krishna. Hmm? We do not have direct access to Mahaprabhu, except through the Archa Vigraha form, which we should not consider non difference. Hmm? But the most accessible mean to us is Nam. Nam is most accessible. There's no restrictions to Nam too. You know, before we serve and worship Takurji, we have to be clean. Hmm? Proper rules, etiquette must be followed. But for now, there's no rules, whether clean or unclean. This is my whole point here, as you rightly was saying. Nama Chintamani Krishnas Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Sudha Nitya Mukta Pinatva Nama Nami Naho. It says the holy name is a transcendental wish fulfilling gem, Chintamani. Now let's take this very slow. Think about it. Nama Chintamani. This is the name. Imagine we have a Chintamani with us. Imagine we have this available to us. But yet the question, why aren't we taking shelter of it? Hmm? I ask myself that question. Not for anyone, but I ask myself that question. For there is no difference between Krishna's name, Nama, and Krishna himself, Nami. Simply by saying Krishna, we are having direct association with Krishna. But because our faith is very weak, because we don't have faith in this, that is why we take it for granted. Oh, well, I speak for myself. I'm not speaking for anyone. The name of Parmananda Sarup Sri Krishna is the bestow of the supreme goal, Parma Purush Artha. This name is the very form of transcendental mellows, Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. It is completely pure, eternally liberated, and beyond any connection with Maya. Here is saying Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he is saying Krishna's sublime form 
is as identical to him as his holy name. Remembering and chanting Krishna's name immediately invokes his beautiful form in the mind and both dance there harmoniously as inseparable partners. Harinam Shintamani. So this one verse we can just sit and take it and run with it. You know, I was reading um, the book of Srila Aniru Prabhu. No, Srila Aniru Prabhu. We know he's Namnishta. He's Namnishta devotee. He chants five lakhs every day. But because he's preaching, he chants like three lakhs. This is minimum. Minimum. And he's been doing this for over 50 years. Now he's 94 years old. And he wakes every morning from nine, uh, sorry, from 12 midnight. And he will chant. And he's a grihasta. He had job, grihasta. And he was chanting three lakhs every day. So this is an example we don't have to look for. This is, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Gurudev used to pong inside of us. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Hmm? Association with high class devotees. We are so, Gurudev has said, we associate devotees with, like ourselves, we will be stagnant. Because only what we realize, what we understand, that's what we can give. We're not too much. Those lower than us, they will pull us down. But how can we make advancement in spiritual life? We must take the association of high class sadhus that can live for us. Srila uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was saying three types of devotees, he said one who chant the name of Krishna once is a devotee. One who have taken diksha, initiation, hmm, he's also a devotee. And then he said, who's the real Vaishnava? He said, by just their mere sight, their mere presence makes you want to chant. And this is what Gurudev tells us. Gurudev was very strong on preaching about shiksha. Shiksha. We must have that shiksha. Now there's a question. And it comes up in our sangha. Srila Gurudev, our sangha, a lot. Maybe not so prominent, but it, you know. But in quiet conversation, it comes. That Srila Gurudev has given us this very high braj mood. Hmm? And therefore, one may have a difficulty in reconciling the mood of Srila Anirudh Prabhu, which he says he's like of Dwarka. Hmm? He's the grandson of Krishna. That's his mood. But some devotees are saying he's being very tricky. Actually, he's from Goloka. But he's just saying that just to trick those. But anyway, whichever way. So because of that, some devotees may not be able to reconcile that, saying that, oh, he has a different mood from what our Srila Gurudev has given to us. Pujapad Bhaktivedanta Ashram Maharaj put it very sweet. If Srila Haridas Thakur was on this planet, he is not in Madhuri above. He is not resident of Goloka Brindavan. Hmm? But would we go and take his association? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if Prahalad Maharaj, yes. <laughs> if Lord Brahma was here, yes. if Dhruva, oh, yes. or if Lord Indra was here. <laughs> even Indra, I would go for. <laughs> yes, even Indra would go for, right? If Lord Hanuman, even. So in this way, we have to reconcile. Why do we go and take the shelter of this personality? Why would we go and take the shelter of Prahalad? He's not in Madhuri above. He's a Santa. But why would we go and take the shelter? Because he's an advanced devotee. And they can help us. So, Pujapad Bhaktivedanta Ashram Maharaj, he reconciled. It's very beautiful. So Anirudh Prabhu, he would preach very strongly and boldly. But all 
devotees, everyone should take complete shelter of Nam. Complete shelter. At the time of initiation, what did Gurudev tell us to do? Chant. <laughs> did he tell us to build temple? No. Temple of the heart. Did he tell us to learn Mirdanga or play harmonia or play kartal or even learn verses? No. What did he tell us to do? To chant. To chant. What did he give to us? Now. Now. In his book, Anirudh Prabhu was saying, we have to consider how far we have strayed from what is our rightful inheritance of Mahaprabhu. How far have we strayed from that process? What's supposed to be our rightful inheritance? This is what Mahaprabhu came to give. Mahaprabhu came to give Nam. Of course, just now with Unato Jawala, yeah, but we're talking Nam. But now, as he was saying in his book, that sometimes other things become more prominent than Nam. I can speak that for myself personally. Other things become more prominent than now. So we have strayed from this, from the path given by Mahaprabhu, who's avatar. Hmm? I'll do this is first and I'll finish. In Shasasaka, second verse, Nam Nam Akari Bahuda Nijasara Shakti Tatra Pita Niyamita Nakalaha Ita Drisi Tava Kripa Bhagavan Mamapi Durdaivam Idrisam Ida Jani Anu O Bhagavan, your name bestow all auspiciousness upon the Jivas. Therefore, for their benefit, you are eternally manifest as your innumerable, innumerable names, such as Ram, Narayan, Krishna, Mukunda, Madhav, Govinda, and Damodar. You now hear the part of it. Nam Nam Akari Bahuda Nija Sharva Sakti. You have invested in those names with all the potency of their respective form. Out of your causeless mercy, you, are not, you have not even imposed any restrictions on their remembrance of your name. As in the case with Gayatri mantras that must be chanted at specific times, Sandhyas Bandana. In other words, the holy name of Bhagavan can be chanted and remembered at any time of the day or night. This is the arrangement you have made. O Prabhu, you have such causeless mercy upon the jivas. Nevertheless, due to my Nama Parad, I am so unfortunate mm. that no attachment for your holy name, which is so easily accessible and which bestow all good fortune, has awakened me. This is a verse... As I said, these verses, sometimes it's not just to learn a verse, you know, as Gurdjieff would say, like a parrot. We meditate on these verses. These verses are actually personality. Hmm? Krishna invests all his potency in this name. Just imagine his Shakti in this name. Bahuda. Nija Sharva Shakti. All potency in this name. Simply chanting this name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, 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 Krishna Hare, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mahaprabhu would go to the Gambir and he would cry chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Anirudh Prabhu gave a technique. Mahaprabhu said, one lakh every day. This is Mahaprabhu direct instruction. He said, I will not take prasadam from that person whom, home who doesn't chant one lakh. This is not me, Prabhu. Mahaprabhu said this. You know the story, right? Mahaprabhu going to the different villages and he's begging alms. And then he said he will only take alms from Lakpatis. 
So the devotees down there say, Mahaprabhu, we don't even have a hundred rupees. You're asking us for a hundred thousand rupees? Then Mahaprabhu laughed. He said, no, I'm not talking about your rupees. I'm talking about those who chant Nam 100 times daily. This is Gaudiya Math standard as well too. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, this is Gaudiya. This is what A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. When he first came to the West, this is what he said. Now we have to consider these things. How long are we in the process? In this life. We can't just do the basic, the minimum, and expect to get the maximum. Ye yata mam prapadyanti. Krishna said, what you put in, I will reward you accordingly. Minimum. Now how does this work? So you want to learn to play the mirdango. So the teacher will recommend to you, so listen, play this mirdanga, practice this mirdanga at least one hour every day. Mm -hmm. Yes? Recommended. Yeah. One hour every day. Mm -hmm. In order to learn to play mirdanga. Now similarly, we cannot chant Shuddhanam right away, at least for myself. I cannot chant pure name right away. Because of all the offenses and apparatus. Hmm? All the anarthas inside of me. But how do I get to Shuddha Nam? How do I get to Pure Nam? I have to do that one hour practice. Just like the Merdanga. It's practice. Practice chanting. Just practice. Just do it. As Anirudh Prabhu said, just do it. Don't worry about Pure Name. Don't worry about Nama Bas. Don't worry about Nama. You said just get this one. Just practice. Just do this practice. Like you're learning the Mirdango. Practice this Mirdango one hour every day in order to become proficient. So practice chanting this one lakh. This one lakh is like a formula. You can't practice the Mirdango for five minutes and expect to become proficient like that. I mean... Try to get the analogy, right? Yeah. So similarly, Mahaprabhu said, do this name, do this one lakh. And this is how you will get Shuddhanam. By constantly practicing, 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 practicing. At the beginning, 100% will be Nama Parads. At the beginning, Nama Parads. But by continue this practice daily, one day you will start getting one Nama Bas. Hmm? One Nama Bas because you're now becoming more proficient. And as you continue, 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 two Nama Bas, three Nama Bas, four Nama Bas, till what will happen? You will get 50 50. Nama Parad, 50% Nama Parad, 50% Nama Bas. Nama Parad won't go like that. Hmm? You can chant one lakh and you're still doing Nama Parad. You think 16 rounds is going to do it? It's not going to cut it. Bad odds. All right? It's not going to cut it. Now from this Nama Bas, then as you continue to practice, then you get 100% Nama Bas. Nama Parad will go. Because now you come to intermediate level of chanting. Anuru Prabhu, who is a Nam Nishta devotee, give Practical experience with these things. This is practical realization from a Nam Nishta devotee. Hmm? Then from this Nama Bas, continuously chanting 100% Nama Bas now, one Shuddha Nam will come. Ah. Our Gurudev explained in Shastaka as well. Too. He explained this is how it works. This is the process. One Shuddha Nam will come. And from the power of that one Shuddha Nam, you will get two, three, four. Then eventually, Nama Bas completely gone. And what you will chant? Shuddha Nam, pure Nam. Then you can start leading the Kirtans. 
then you're Niraja Yatra because you're no professional Merdanga player. Now you chant in pure now. At the beginning, your attention span will be going haywire. All over. But once that determination is there, you put in the hours, you put in the practice. Don't worry how it's done, just do it. Nam, as you just say, Nam, Nam, Akari, Bahujin. Nam has the power. We cannot become pure by ourselves, by our own endeavors. It is Nam that will purify us. If one thing that, oh, first I will purify myself, then do Nam, this is, this is bogus. It is Nam that will purify us. Sometimes devotees will go to Guru, Gurudev, and say, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Then Gurudev said, okay, very well. Then another devotee said, Gurudev, I'm struggling. I'm suffering. I'm struggling. I can't chant. I can't. This Gurudev said, oh, very good. <laughs> I'll come and help you. Hmm? This is what Guru is for. This is what Vaishnav does. If we think that, okay, we think then no use to Guru. Guru will not have time with us. But we cry out and say, Oh Gurudev, I'm struggling. And Gurudev will help us. Nam is like this. Nam is merciful. Nam is so merciful. Hmm? So please, and I'm saying this to myself, I'm just sharing what I have learned. Hmm? Please take shelter of this Nam. This Nam is Avatari. This Nam is Lord Nishingadev, Ram, Matsya, Koma. So we'll stop here. Wow. Panchakalpa Turbascha Kripar Sindhu Vibacha. Patitanam Pavanebio, Vaishnavi Bio, Namo, Namaha. Okay.